Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball, and today in this video I'm going to share with you a very simple technique for easily and accurately and properly toenailing framing lumber. Specifically here, I'm going to be toenailing some studs into place. I am going to show you how to toenail, not with nails, but with screws. Because these days, carpenters tend to use screws for this purpose more so than nails. However, the technique that I'm going to show you works just as well with nails. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. I'm going to tell you how to stretch a 2x4 if you've cut it just a tad too short. Okay, here we are. You can see the location of the stud right there, and the 2x4 will go like that. But, and this is uh, a good example, there is a screw right there. Now, when I engage my thinking process, I think to myself, that might be a problem when I'm putting the toenails in. It might not be a problem, but it might be a problem. So, it's so simple with screws as opposed to nails to get that screw out of there. All right, now before I show you the trick, I want to say that when you're toenailing, you want that toenail to be up, to start up about an inch and a quarter. And um, I know that an inch and a quarter is right there. I don't need a tape measure. I just know that that's an inch and a quarter. Now, I, I never mark the placement. I can eye it up, but the point is you can mark it if you want. And it, it wants to be right about at an inch and a quarter. Okay, so the first part of the trick is this. You wanna place a screw there and a screw there, right on the line. Then I put my stud in position. Then at approximately that one and a quarter inch distance up, place your screw at approximately a 45 degree angle. And this screw is just about directly opposite the screw on the other side. I'm putting two screws in with a two by four and notice that I'm uh, going in straight until we get a little grab, then I bring it up, okay? I'm also pumping the drill. You have more control when you do that. And I'm going to just screw, screw it in. Okay. Now we'll go to the other side. So you can see here that we're on the line or actually just shy of the line. And it's no big deal to back those screws out like that. And, uh, like that, and if I want to come a little bit further onto that line, be more precise, I'll just come around the other side and you can get a little bit of movement that way without any problem. Now the two toe screws on the other side are in place, and with two by fours, I'm going to put another one right here. I'm going to go straight in till I get some purchase. Then I'm going to bring it up to the angle I want and bring it down. There's three toenails or toe screws in place. That is extremely solid. Okay, I'm going to show you this process one more time and then I'll show you how to stretch a stud. Uh, one more thing I almost forgot to tell you that is important, and I'm going to show it right here on another stud. You don't want to split the wood when you put your toenails in. Sometimes it happens no matter what you do. It didn't happen on those previous two studs because this wood is cooperating with me. But if you have a situation where the wood is not cooperating, where you've got a tendency in the wood to split, you uh, don't want that to happen because that weakens your connection. 
So it's perfectly acceptable to drill a hole. A pilot hole, we'll call it, in the wood, up an inch and a quarter. I've got screws on the other side. And that will usually make all the difference when it comes to splitting. Okay. Now for the moment that you've all been waiting for, how to stretch a stud. The situation is that you have measured and cut your stud and you set it in place and instead of being snug, it's a little bit loose. That can be discouraging, but there's a simple way to not actually stretch the stud, but to effectively stretch the stud. And that is by putting a piece of cardboard in there. Now, this is a non-load-bearing wall. If it were a load-bearing wall, you would probably want to cut another stud or put a wood shim in. But this will do the trick. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody.